Across the world, experts have warned about water shortages as the world's number one problem. But in Maram, that problem is a reality. Amidst the pine gardens, the villages around Maram Center face acute water shortages all through the year. What is it like to live with no running water? The villagers depend on the spring water, stagnant ponds and rivulets. It is just one scoop at a time. It is waiting for the droplets to trickle down. At the height of the dry season, there is no water at all, except for the yellow cracked muck and the shadow of water. It is a daily feud between the neighbors and families for waters. It is a constant rivalry of who can get more from the small pond of water. Late at night in the dark, after their hard work in the field, the woman with torchlight goes to fetch water every day. <laughs> However, at daybreak, the pond is almost empty and the people have to wait for each scoop of water. <laughs> This is from Maram Center. They are they're here. The system of uh, taking line uh, water. First, the people they used to make a queue, like uh, after at night after twelve, uh, they can. Put the, they can come in, they can put it, uh, their buckets for their queue and early morning around 6.30 water is to come and then uh, till uh, around uh, 7.40 to 45 it is to come. It used to come every day, but the problem is the timing is too less. It used to come only one and a half hour, more or less, every day. And it's not sufficient for every one of us to get water. So the best thing to solve this problem is uh, to expand the timing of the water supply. If, it is, if they extend the timing, then we can get sufficient water. The average family in Maram waits for seven hours a day to collect a bucket or two of water. Family ka blanket bhi more than 50% of the people's time is spent on waiting and fetching water, and countless hours spent searching or waiting in line. However, that is water only for consumption. The trickle of the brook's water is where many utilize for various purposes, bathing, washing, domestic and family use. The presence of the college with over 3,000 students residing in the village 
most of whom stays in the rental housings, poses a big challenge for the villagers. The village water reservoir is not large enough to supply and meet the demands of the students and the villagers. We have lots of water problem. Uh, usually we used to bring water from field uh, through uh, pipe. But what happened these days because of scarcity of water, uh, I don't wash my dress usually. Usually I used to wash like after three days, but nowadays after two weeks I'm washing my dress. The student has to go down to the river barrack for washing their clothes. They walk for an average distance of six kilometer just to wash their uniform. Lives and days wasted. A priceless time spent for hygiene at a coast. Time lost that could have been spent in school and college work. Many who cannot go down to the river for washing make use of the stagnant bones and pools. I know villagers people they'll get water but we students we have to suffer a lot for water especially this season winter season every droplet and water pool are a heaven for the students they go collecting every single mug of water along the drying rivulets and pools nearby they patiently wait for the bucket to fill and then carry it back to their homes. See how we store water. Even in case if we don't get water tomorrow, we can use this water. Water has enabled the students to make desperate attempts at digging small bones for underground water. It is a continuous effort and collective one among them. Water has become a normal daily part of their struggle for living as a student. The students, they wait more, more than the villagers for water. To see students struggling with water problems daily, waiting for hours for a single bucket and walking for miles and miles to wash clothes have moved the principal of Don Bosco College Maram to make it his mission to make water available in Maram. Uh, water is the most acute problem that we face in the campus. Rain starts in the month of May and it's over by September. The rest of the months of the year, people will have to depend on water that is stored up, that we do not have much uh, water storage system in Maram and especially in the college. We requested help from Solutions to Don Bosco in Germany and they managed to get some sponsors to make 5 lakh liters tank numbering around 6 of them and that was completed in a record time at the cost of 24 lakhs each uh, of the tank. In total, five water reservoirs have been constructed with a dimension of 30 by 40 by 12 feet. The reservoirs are constructed to collect rainwater during the rainy season to be reused during the dry season. It won't take many days to fill this. If you get uh, four or five good rains in a 
monsoon season i think this tank will be full that's what i have experienced the water reservoir has benefited a good number of students as they are no longer constrained by the need to search for water we managed to uh, make two water bore wells one in the college the other one in the hostel in monikas and that was rather successful in the lean season we are able to get at least 1000 liters a day minimum in these two bore wells we had dug the bore well with a machine which is which has gone deep down 600 feet 640 feet exact and the water was found at the height of 375 then the rest is what we call well the pipe will gather water and it keeps on pumping and from here it is pumped back to the tank pumped back to the tank you know this uh, took around uh, 24 hours time they reach the bottom part of it and pipes are gone down uh, gi pipe galvanized iron pipes are put there now it is already 6 years with the initiatives of father k o sebastian students are volunteering to clean the water pools in different villages to be used by the villagers and students alike My motivation is nature itself. When I saw the mountains around here, bare mountain, trees all cut down, and uh, uh, also the sources drying, the small little sources of water streams, streamlets are drying. In fact, I went went scouting around for water in the Maram Kulan Hills and uh, New Mangamai region. and i found gradually water sources are drying up then i said unless we act right now it will be a catastrophe in the future and that gave me to to look for alternative sources for water even now with drastic climate change with erratic monsoon and deficit rainfall the people live on and the struggle for water continues even more